Line 27. Eudicium paridis spreta que iuria formae. I will give a word per word dictionary entry and translation. I will then pause, reorder the sentence, translate, and give my lines so far. Eudicium paridis spretae. Eudicium. Eudicium. Eudicius. Neuter. Second declension. Nominative singular. Judgment. Judgment. Paridis. Paris. Paridis. Masculine. Third declension. Genitive singular. Of Paris. Of Paris. Spretae. Spretus. Spreta. Spretum. Genitive singular feminine of perfect passive participle sperno, spernera, spreri, spretum. It means despised or slighted. I will go with slighted. Eudicium paridis spretae, judgment of Paris slighted. Que iuria formai. Que, enclitic conjunction, and and Iuria Iuria Iuriae Feminine First declension Nominative singular The injury The injury For my For ma For my Feminine First declension Genitive singular Of beauty Of beauty Eudicium paridis Bratae que Iuria for my Eudicium is judgment. It is the subject of Manet. Paridis is of Paris, the possessive genitive after Eudicium, or maybe it's the subject genitive. Spretai is slighted. It qualifies for my. Que is and, and it joins Eudicium and Eoria. Eoria means the injury. It is the subject nominative of manet. It's joined to eudicium by que. For my means of beauty. It could be the objective genitive modifying eoria, that is, the wrong done to her beauty. Or it could be genitive of definition, that is, consisting in the scorning of beauty. If I had to reorder the words, I would have Eudicium paridius que iuria spretae formae. The judgment of Paris and the injury of slighted beauty. Line 27. Eudicium paridis spretae que iuria formae. The judgment of Paris and the injury of slighted beauty. All the lines so far. Id meterens where it was quema more Saturnia belli, prima quad ad troyam procaris geserat argus, nectum et eam, causae irarum, saeque dolores exiderant animo, manet alta menta repostum id iucum paradis spretaeque iuria formae. Saturn's daughter, fearing that, and mindful of the ancient war, which, for most, she had raged at Troy for dear Argus, nor even yet had the causes of her anger and cruel griefs fallen from her mind, reserved deep in her mind remains the judgment of Paris and the injury of slighted beauty.